Hello, this is Tommy Guidry. This music, this uh, video is for Music 308. Uh, this will replace our class lecture during this pandemic. The topic for tonight is writing major scales. You're going to see on the Moodle page other videos that look much better than mine. Admittedly, I, I know nothing about video editing. But this video will explain to you everything that you need to know, no more and no less. I suggest that you use it in conjunction with the other videos that I've made available to you. So our topic will be writing major scales, ascending and descending. I'll give you a series of steps. Hopefully by the time you're using this video, you've already read about major scales with the reading assignment. So this is kind of cutting to the chase, how to write them. So the first thing we do was we write our note heads ascending and descending one octave using all the lines and all the spaces from the bottom note to the top note of that octave. And please be sure to allow space between the notes because you are going to end up using flats or sharps. One tip for writing major scales, you will never mix flats with sharps. And the only major scale that will have no flats or sharps will be the C major scale. So here we go, we have a keyboard here. So we'll start in treble clef. So let's say on your quiz or the next exam, you see something like this. I give you the first note. Okay, and then, then I ask you to write an ascending and descending major scale. So first we're gonna practice only step one, write the note heads ascending and descending one octave. So we're starting on an E, that means our top note's gonna to be an E, and our last note's gonna be an E. So make sure to allow notes, space between the notes, again, for sharps or flats. So we're starting on a line. So we're gonna go E, carefully to F, G, a, B, C, D, we're almost at the top, E, okay, and now we're going to descend with the same notes. Notice the manuscript, when a note is on a line, it doesn't touch any other lines. When a note is within a space, it doesn't go out of the lines around it. So then B, A, G, F, and then E. Okay, so it's that simple, the first step. The first note is given. You account for every line in space going up until you get to the octave, and then you descend until you get back to where we started. Okay, so I'd like you to practice three of these of just of step one. I'll give you the first note. I'm going to ask you to go ahead and hit your pause button, try it on your own, and then see how you did. Okay, so I'm going to ask you to write a scale beginning on F, a scale beginning on E flat. and the scale beginning on A. So remember, for right now, we're only doing step one. So go ahead and hit your pause button and try to write this scale, this scale, and this scale. And when you're done, go ahead and hit play. Okay, so I'm assuming you've given them a shot now. So the first one, we're starting on an F. That means we're gonna keep going till we get to F. F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, E, D, C, B, A, G, and F. The next one starts on E flat. 
Notice again, I'm keeping adequate space between the node heads. G, A, B, C, D, E, D, C, B, A, G, F, E. And then this one begins on an A. B, C, D, E, F, G, A, G, F, E, D, C, B, and A. Okay, so if your answers look like these, then you've mastered the first step. So very good. All right. But what we've written now, if you're sitting at a piano and you'd play these, you'd hear they do not sound like major scales. And on some of the other uh, websites that I have available, you will hear what they sound like. So the second step is to go ahead and, I don't like to use the word memorize a lot, but this needs to be memorized. This is the pattern of all major scales, whole, whole, half whole, 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 half. You, it's easy to memorize. You could do it right now. Whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. So these represent whole steps and half steps. So I suggest that under the scales that you've written, on the ascending scale, you go ahead and write this pattern, okay? This will save you some grief if you actually write it in. So we're gonna go back to the first page and I'm gonna write under each of these whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. Okay? If you don't write those, I've seen students get mixed up. Okay? So, now just a quick review of whole steps and half steps. Remember, a half step is the smallest interval in Western music. It's the distance from one key to the key right next door. E to an F is a half step because there's no key in between it. Same thing with B to a C. Hopefully by now this is memorized, but we haven't had a lot of class with everything that's been happening. So put a little cheat sheet here. Okay. And a half step up from A would be this note, which could be B flat or A sharp. A half step down would be this note, which could be A flat or G sharp. So what we need to do now, working from left to right, is adjust notes as needed using either flats or sharps to make that ascending scale fit into that pattern. Okay, and so what I suggest is you look at your keyboard you see E to F needs to be a whole step. Right now, E to F is a half step because there's no note between them. So to make it into a whole step, we have to come up here. All right, now don't say, well, that's a G flat. Looking at the notes that you already wrote, you see that we start with an E. So that's gotta be some kind of F. So going a whole step up from E, what kind of F is that? You see that's an F sharp. So just to the left of the note head, you carefully put a sharp sign. Okay, notice the placement of the sharp sign, that the middle of the sharp sign is in the same space as the note. That's important. Okay, now, we're not measuring from F anymore. We're measuring from F sharp, and we need to go up a whole step. So from F sharp, here's a half step, here's a whole step. The note we're dealing with is a G. Therefore, we would call this note not A flat, but G sharp. Okay, and then we need a half step from G sharp. So from G sharp, we move up here. We see a half step from G sharp is an A. We have an A here, so we're good. And then from A, we move up, we need a whole step. A, half step, whole step needs to be a B natural. 
which is, which is what we have, so we're still good. Then we need a whole step up from a B natural. We see C has no, even though it's two white keys, there's no black key there. So from B to a C is a half step. We need it to be a whole step. So here's half, here's a whole step. The note we're dealing with is a C, so you ask yourself what kind of C is that black key? So hopefully you remember that is a C sharp. And again, notice the placement of the sharp. It's very clear. Don't put it on top of the note or below the note or to the right of the note. There's only one way to put it, just to the left of the note with the middle of the sharp sign in the same space or on the same line. And then a whole step up from C sharp. Here's C sharp. Half step, whole step. We're dealing with a D. What kind of D is that? That's a D sharp. Okay, and then a half step up should be the same note we started on. That's another tip. Let's see if we did it right. A half step up from a D sharp is an E natural. There's an E natural. There's an E natural. So when you're doing these scales, the first note, the highest note, and the last note need to be the exact same note. So if you find that you end up with a sharp here, and you didn't have a sharp here, you made a mistake along the way. Or if you mixed flats and sharps, you made a mistake along the way. Okay, I'll do another one, and then I'll ask you to do two on your own. Okay, so I'll put the pattern below. Whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. Okay, keep the clef in mind. We're in the we're in bass clef now. So we're starting on an F. So a whole step up from F, half step, whole step is a G. That's a G, so we're good. A whole step up from a G, half step, whole step is an A natural. Once again, we're good. Next, we need a half step up from an A. We end up on this black key. Okay, it's got two names, so you know about in inharmonic tones. The note we're dealing with is a B, so you'd ask yourself, well, what kind of B is that? That's a B flat. So again, the flat goes just to the left of the note, and the little bubble of the flat goes on the same line or the same space as the note. Okay, now a, a, a common mistake for students is they'd say, well, the next note is a C sharp. Right away, you should know you made a mistake because you can't mix flats and sharps. And people often make this mistake because they're measuring from a B, but it's not a B anymore. It's a B flat. And a whole step up from a B flat, half step, whole step is a C. So we're good. Whole step up from a C, half step, whole step is a D. So we're good. Whole step up from a D, half step, whole step is an E natural. Once again, we're good. We go back here to grab our E natural, and a half step up from an E natural. Again, we should end up where we started. A half step up from an E is an F natural, which is where we started. So the ascending scale is just right. Okay, so what I'd like you to do now is go ahead and hit your pause button and try this method for the ascending scales. We're not gonna worry about the descending just yet. Try this for the ascending scales for this one and this one and then go ahead and hit play again and see how you did. Okay, so we should have ended up with whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half, and we're going from an E flat. Okay, so a whole step up from E flat, half step, whole step is an F natural, good. Whole step up from F natural, half step, whole step is a G natural. That's what we have. A half step up from a G natural, we're on a black key. It's an A, what kind of A is that black key? It's an A flat. Okay, a whole step up from A flat, half step, whole step is this black key. We're dealing with a B. What kind of B is this black key? It's a B flat. And then a whole step up from B flat, half step, whole step is a C natural, is what we have here. 
then a whole step up from C natural, half step, whole step, D natural, which is what we have here. And let's see if we're gonna end up where we started. A half step up from a D natural is this black key, which is some kind of an E. What kind of an E is that black key? It's an E flat. So you see we started on E flat, we ended on E flat, we didn't mix sharps and flats, so we probably did it just right. Okay, and then the last one at the bottom, whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. Okay, so we're in bass clef starting on A, whole step up from A, bam, bam, takes us to B, good. Whole step up from B, takes up to this black key. The letter name is a C. What kind of C is that black key? It's a C sharp. So you put your sharp right there. Then a half step up from C sharp takes us to a D natural, which is what we have. A whole step up from D natural takes us to an E natural, which is what we have. We'll come down here. A whole step up from E natural takes us to this black key, and we're dealing with this note here, which is an F. What kind of F is that? That's an F sharp. So hopefully you put a sharp just to the left of the note, and you see how the line of the sharp goes right through the middle. The line goes right through the middle of the sharp. Then a whole step up from F sharp, bam, bam, is that black key, which is some kind of a G. So that's a G sharp, and we should end up where we started. A half step up from a G sharp is an A. We started on an A, we topped out on an A. Okay, we didn't mix sharps and flats. We started where we ended, so we should be just right. Okay, so we're almost done. So that was the second step. Okay, the last step is just to simply copy the accidentals into the descending scale. Okay, copy the accidentals into the descending scale. This seems like it would be the easiest part, but students sometimes want to, our minds want to just create a mirror image, and students will often write the sharp on the wrong side of this, the note. Remember that the sharps and flats, these accidentals always go to the left side of the note head. Okay, so we have a D sharp here, so you make, you just carry them over. That's a D sharp, C sharp, G sharp, F sharp. Okay, so the descending and the ascending should look exactly the same. So please go ahead and hit your pause button and finish the descending scales, please, for these three. When you're done, go ahead and hit play. Okay, so your work should look like this. This has one flat. Okay, coming downward, we have a B flat, an A flat, and an E flat. Reminder, the bottom note, the top note, and the last note need to be the same pitch class. There are different octaves, but they're all in E-flat. And then finally, G-sharp, carry it over. F-sharp, carry that over. And C-sharp. Okay, so that's everything you need to know about writing major scales. The very last topic dealing with major scales is dealing with scale degree names. Okay. Every scale degree has a name, and you will have, I realize this may be hard to read, but if you look on the in-class handout on Moodle and the other uh, websites, you'll see it'd be very easy to read. The first note of any major scale is called the tonic. The second note of any major scale is called the supertonic, super meaning above. The third note of any major scale is the mediant, the fourth note is the subdominant. The fifth note is the dominant. The sixth note is the submediant. The seventh note is the leading tone. And the top note 
we're back to the tonic, or sometimes we call it the octave. Those terms are interchangeable here. They're pretty easy to memorize, except these two. These are the opposite of what you would think, all right? And there is a video online that explains why. The median, you would think it would be below the submedian, but when it's in this format, uh, you would think the submedian, excuse me, would be below the median, but in a scale, the way it looks is the median is below the submedian. Again, there's another scale, another video that explains this. So you'll see questions like this. What is the leading tone of D major? So you have to know that the leading tone is the seventh scale degree. So you just go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The leading tone is not a C, but it's a C sharp. So notice in music, the sharp goes to the left of the note head, but in text, it goes to the right of the letter, just like we would say it. What is the sub supertonic of the D flat major scale? Well, before we can answer that, we'd have to write the D flat major scale, which we know how to do now. I'll do this one with you. And on your test, all these questions will be based on scales that you have already written on the test. So you won't have to write them from scratch. So the D flat major scale, let's go through the process. E, F, G, A, B, C, D, and come on down. And then our pattern, whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. And then you look at your keyboard. Okay, so a whole step up from D flat is E flat. A whole step up from E flat, half step, whole step, is this note here. So F natural, so we're good. Half step up from F is this black key. What are we gonna call it? Well, that's a G. So, let's see, I'll put a little cheat notes here, just in case we're rusty. Okay, so that would be a G flat. Whole step up from G flat would be this black key. We're dealing with the A letter name, A, so that's an A flat. Whole step up from A flat would be a B flat. A whole step up from B flat, half step, whole step would be a C natural, which is good. And we should end on a D flat. Half step up from a C is a D flat. So we're good. And then we just transfer these into the descending scale. It's kind of tight right here, but there we go. And the other scale we're going to need to deal with is a B major scale. So we'll do that one in bass clef. So this just gives us a little additional practice writing the scales. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, A, G, F, E, D, C, and B, and then our pattern, whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half, okay? So then we follow our pattern starting from a B, a whole step up from B, okay, right away, is it C sharp or is it D flat? Well, this is a C, so it better be a C sharp. A whole step up from C sharp is this black key. The letter name is a D. So in relationship to D, that black key is D sharp. We're running out of room, so we're gonna just dump down here. Half step up from D sharp is an E, so we're good. Whole step up from an E, half step, whole step, is this black key, which is some kind of an F. So an F sharp. Then a half step up from, excuse me, a whole step up from F sharp takes us to this black key. So G sharp. And then 
A whole step up from G sharp takes us to this black key, which is some kind of an A, so that's an A sharp. And we should start, we should top off where we started. A half step up from an A sharp is a B natural, which is where we started, so we didn't make any mistakes. So we're gonna transfer these accidentals into the descending scale. Okay, and now we can answer these questions. What is the supertonic of D flat? We see the supertonic is the second note, or the second scale degree of any scale. So the supertonic of D flat is E flat. And I just noticed there's a mistake here, sorry about that. The leading tone of D major, sorry about that, is C sharp, the seventh scale degree. What is the dominant of D major? The dominant is the fifth scale degree. One, two, three, four, five. So that would be an A, sorry. If you called that earlier, good. Huh. All right, and then the median of B major. So the median is the third scale degree of any scale. So one, two, three. The median of B major is a D sharp. Okay, so that is it. Uh, please go ahead, do the homework, check Moodle for all the other activities, and everyone's got my phone number, so feel free to text me or call me if you have any questions. I hope you are all staying safe during this very difficult period. All right, take care.